hello floor pov i guess you guys have no idea how excited i am to do this video i don't look excited but trust me i am i've been waiting months and i'm finally moved into my new room i've got my pictures i actually have my vision board and i'm so excited to make a vision board of you guys it's definitely been the video that i wanted to do the most and i'm so happy that i can finally do it so i have my energy balls which i made in a previous video um links down below up the top please watch it but it's actually these are the best things i've ever eaten ever do not we're opening oh hello okay so i've never made a vision board before so it's kind of like improvisation it's pretty big but yeah i'm just gonna talk you through all the pictures and basically giving you motivational speeches because i sometimes just speak to myself pretending i have a podcast like giving people like inspirational talks but then really it's just like to myself i'm kind of good at doing that i have my free prints obviously the place i would get my photos from is free prints hello and i printed off the pictures i wanted then for some reason i have this picture which i'm like low-key really concerned about like what is ed sheeran doing with a corn dog in the shower but i just wanted to be inspirational i want to be doing my work or like my makeup and i, and I look up at it and i'm like wow this is what i want to be like like these are my goals like this is my aspiration so i'll just like briefly quickly go through all the pictures so i have one of like fruit because i absolutely love fruit and i feel like society wants to be healthy but fruit is so expensive compared to chocolate which you can get for like 30p so i have fruit up here to encourage a more of a healthy lifestyle it really works whenever i go on pinterest i suddenly just become like a health nut i love it i also have a picture of this like organized note which definitely will help because i can look up at it and be like this is what i want my notes to be like i need to revise some like my gcse's like i need to put some effort in and then it'll all work out trust me like i don't have like crazy academic validation but seeing a good grade on my paper makes my whole day like i don't i'm not i'm a very average student so getting an a is absolutely beyond anything i also have another picture of like nutritional food but more like carbohydrates this picture of pesto pasta which is actually my favorite food ever it's so good so this is actually kind of a sad picture this is a picture of the gym so i don't go to the gym anymore because i don't really have any free time anymore which is sad like obviously i'm sat here doing this but this is the how i've decided to spend my free time if that makes sense like i've been very specific about how i want to spend my free time so this is just a picture of the gym like i have been doing home workouts and i've really been enjoying them because like i sometimes get really anxious when i go to the gym um because i get a bit awkward especially doing it by myself so being in my room doing workouts is actually really helpful so i can look up at that and be like i gotta do my workout i'm also gonna i probably put up a picture of me and liv just because liv's my sister and she's my bestie i also have a picture of this this girl this girl's belly in the pool um which i found on pinterest all of these i found on pinterest by the way basically just reminds me that i will be going on a cruise in the summer and it will be summer soon and i'm so excited like i gotta look forward to it and like i gotta work really hard and then i can basically have a really fun summer i also have a youtube plaque which is obviously not mine but it's kind of like inspirational kind of cringe i can't lie but there's a proof that that's like a milestone that i want to get to one day um, definitely not at the moment because it's not really growing let's just say that I also have a picture of my favorite show ever which is that 70s show of Jackie and Hyde because it just brings me joy like it genuinely just makes me happy I also have this like sheet of cardboard which I'll explain later but I want to do like uh, things to do on your board list because I feel like so many people just like when they're bored they just go onto TikTok me basically I want that list to basically just help me stay off of TikTok, stop being like unmotivated, unfocused, do something productive that will make me feel a lot better. I swear I printed out a picture of like books and reading to like inspire me to read, but I don't think it printed out, which is fine. I can just get it printed another day. Do we go down like this? Uh, okay. <laughs> get to see my flat little bum. Yeah, so I have like pins. They're ugly. I need to get better pins. I might get like. I might go really bougie and get like baby pink pins. That would be cute. But I'm just gonna use these plain silver pins for now. <coughs> Sorry, that was really inappropriate. <laughs> Comment down below how you guys are because I feel like as well as making a vision board, it's kind of like a one-to-one -one little chat. Like I can be your therapist, 
DM me on Instagram, please, because I would like answer any questions or advice. <laughs> I feel like we we know each other, but, but we're not super close. And I want to be super close with. Ow, I was about to say you guys, but I don't know who you guys are to be honest. You guys need to tell me more about yourself. This is like our little first date. I did actually do an advice video, but I didn't upload it or edit it because I just didn't really like it that much. Did you know that I used to um, do streaming? Did you know that? You probably didn't. Maybe if you did, because I had an old channel. I have like have had so many channels, but I had my old old channel in year seven, which was a laughing stock. I don't know why I decided to promote it as soon as I got it and like posting really cringy stuff. I don't know why that I thought that was a good idea, but then at the same time, like everyone else started to make YouTube channels. So I was like, maybe I'm a bit of a trendsetter, you know, but I did basically get teased and bullied. So maybe it's not a good idea, but I definitely prefer posting on this channel because once I stopped posting on my other channel, I made this channel and I posted a few videos and then I privated them all. And then I made another channel when I was doing streaming and I was like, doing like gaming videos. I'm not even joking. I used to be a gamer. I know. <laughs> well, I said I used to be a gamer. I did like two Roblox videos, but still this was like last year. <laughs> that was actually went okay but then a few people started finding out and i was like oh like it's kind of cringe like i'm not even joking like people started like joining my streams and it was really awkward i even banned them and then they'd make new accounts to look at it i was like no and then i kind of found it the whole thing kind of cringe as in like twitch i love it like people have made like a hell of amount of money out of it like they've made careers out of twitch but i just kind of found it a bit like oh it's not really the people that i wanted to be with like, it wasn't like the community it wasn't the community that i kind of wanted to be in and this is i much prefer this community where i can just lie on the floor and talk to you guys <laughs> like i feel like the <laughs> the community like especially with the whole like was it mcyt i'd be so obsessed with that it was really embarrassing but i feel like the whole community was kind of toxic like they were real sensitive i'm sorry like if you're watching this and you love it I, I don't blame you like it was, it was funny it was a fun time <laughs> but they were so sensitive like they would cancel people so quickly like we really we really do be in cancel culture though if you think about it like unless you do something like horribly horribly bad like it's not like we've been human before like this is like our first life our only life like really had any other life that you can remember so unless you're like you're one of those people who like know that you have have had a different life which is pretty cool like tell me about that please i'm actually interested about that but maybe i need to space them out a little i don't really know my plans once i finish my GCSEs. like i guess i'll have like a really fun summer and then i'm like going to my school sixth form which i'm i used to be really excited for but i'm not excited for it anymore i just kind of want to leave school or like go to college or something I'm just like really not feeling school anymore. Like I used to be quite, I used to quite like being an academic person, but I'm really just not into it, which is okay. Like you can change, like you can change your mind. And like, I was talking to my mum about this. She was like, you're like, feel free to, ever, to change your mind if you want to. I've really been into like being like a little, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm in this position, but you're gonna have to like accept it and embrace it. I've really been into being a health nut, like going on walks, like waking up early, like reading my book before I go to sleep and like doing workouts at home and eating healthy. Like, I'm sorry, but it's the best thing I've ever done. Like it's made me so happy and more productive. Like what's the time? It's 3.15 right now. This is about the time where I'd usually be waking up in the morning. Like it was such a bad habit. I'd literally wake up and then like go back to sleep. It was a bad habit and I didn't like it, but I was just like so lazy. But I think the one thing I have struggled about being a little health nut is going to bed early. Like I can, I don't mind waking up early like i can do it like it takes a little getting used to but i can do it but going to bed earlier is so difficult okay i kind of hate it but i'll show you guys so we just oh, i hate it i hate it what is that i hate it maybe i can have obi-wan kenobi there mm, okay better okay there that's fine okay i like this better it's better so I think the first thing, when you're bored, 
I would just recommend reading. Like I saw this TikTok and it's like, when you're bored, read. I'm like, yes. Reading is just so much better than like scrolling endlessly on TikTok. Like TikTok's marketing system is so clever. Like don't get me wrong, it's probably the most clever app on that we've ha ever had. S uh, Snapchat is second because of like the streaks thing, like making you go on every single day to do your streaks. Like it's pretty clever. And then like, and then you adjust to it. And then as soon as you wake up, you go on Snapchat. I think maybe my next one is like revise is kind of hard. Like just, oh yeah, revise. But maybe it's like, go for your flashcards. Another thing is definitely editing. Like, I love editing. Editing is one of my favorite things about doing this. Sometimes, like, I do just procrastinate it. The other two things I put on there was um, do Maths Watch, which is basically a website which, if you're British, you'll probably know. And you just basically do uh, questions on there. It really helps in my maths, actually. Um, and I also put Walk the Dog. I usually wouldn't put that if it was, like, winter because... I do not like walking my dog in the winter, but because it's getting hotter, I'm gonna pin all these in. This is kind of scary. I'm like Loki kind of scared, but I don't know why I'm scared about. Okay, it's kind of it's slanting. Go away. Okay. I, I kind of hate it. I actually hate it. I'm sorry. I don't like it. Like, it's fine, but like, it's not like... Oh my god, she's so aesthetic. But, <sighs> I mean, it's fine. Like, it's got everything I need on there. Um, I think I'll add more pictures, though. It's, like, kind of looking a bit naked, but... She kind of cute, but she kind of, like, basic, though. 